Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're, everybody's having a lovely, beautiful, and amazing day. And if not, and it's the start of your day, I hope you have a lovely, beautiful day. Okay, what we're going to do today is I'm going to do a quick collective. Well, it's probably not going to be quick, but it's going to do a collective reading anyway. All right, now I want you to take use discernment. Right? You take what you glean, take what you take from the, the reading. But you'll know what, what resonates and what doesn't resonate, that's for sure. What doesn't resonate, don't, don't force it, you know, that's the truth. Um, these are collective reads, and that means there's lots and lots of them over the timelessness of the reading. You know, you get the readings when you when you're ready to listen and and and, and, and collaborate with them. Basically, I've shuffled all these cards and all these cards and all these cards, and I've been shuffling for a while. I've been sitting here meditating and channeling and just doing different things, and it's time for me to get the first card out. That's the first card. Okay. Wow, what a way to start. The Ten of Swords. The ultimate in betrayals and the ultimate in, 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 in painful crises. In the cards, she's standing there with her back turned towards us looking off into the horizon. She may have a mountain to climb as she's got to walk up, but there's beautiful birdies above her and those birdies, like they symbolize um, yeah, elevation, enlightenment, hope and wisdom. Yeah. The Ten of Swords is something that um, a lot of people forget about the Ten of Swords and the intends of completion, which means that whatever's happened, right? Has already happened okay and the person's already stabbed you in the back and the person's already betrayed you and deceited you and 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 and, and been very strategic you know con artist trip death trickery copycats you know and then you know they've already trapped you in your mind and left you jailed and 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 and, and, and you know and cried yourself to sleep and there's worries depression anxiety and fears and you know needing to find the courage and and things just all going completely horrible for you you know and she's also stabbed in the back in that um, card, right? But the thing is, the knives have all been pulled out and the card symbolizes the fact that it's all healed, basically. Not the mental clarity of them, because you can see the birdies on top of the, the, the head there, you know, show that not everything's perfect, but what doesn't, you know, kill us makes us stronger for starters. And two, these are lessons, they're lessons in life, you know, and what's meant for you wouldn't walk past you. And what's meant for you is not going to make you, they're not going to make you cry, they're not going to make you hurt, they're not going to hurt you, they're not going to do bad things to you, and it's not going to sabotage you, whichever, whether it's around relationships, there's family, um, friendship, you know, whether it's around business, whether there's something there, because to get that card out in the first place, you know, shows us that something bad just technically happened, you know. With the Ten of Swords, I want, I, wanted, I wanted to show you something. That, that card is like um, Crisis has been stabbed in the back here, yeah, but it's also an opportunity to find deep healing and an opportunity to find hope and resilience, an opportunity to show how strong and beautiful you are. You know? And that's the truth. It's coupled uh, with now with the King of Cups, all right? The King of Cups is um, the King of Love, yeah? The emotional intelligence, the, the patience. You're, you're a very strong, beautiful very supportive you know person very nurturing very wise and yeah, very very patient especially going through this experience that's for sure and you can see that yeah you've you've been sad and you may have not even seen it coming or there's ships on the horizon that you're not seeing because you're just vibing high now you've come through the situation you've worked hard at it you know you're sitting in your emotion you know in theory in your emotion with the water it's uh, brings life and that's the start you know at least it's the start in the right right direction that's for sure you know and, and and you know the king of cups is 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 that emotional intelligence you know that's needed in order to step forward on this position you may have been completely alone at this point in time in your life you may have had nobody to confide in you may have had nothing at all for yourself in the way of anybody to even talk to but you're that strong as a person because you've gone through the completion that you are lovely and you are pure love because that's the king of love you know kings are external energy and they lead by action master control authority but in the way of lessons the king is the ultimate finish of the cups if that makes sense and and to go through all those lessons and come out completely and unconditionally loving in the heart is is a reward in itself and that should be more than a sign for you to show that you are a beautiful person and the, the potential for you is is absolutely amazing in in, in in how strong you are yeah oh look at that manifestations yeah the, ma the magician, the number one, the magician, yeah, it's a, it's a very skillful soul, very uh, naturally talented, um, has a power of manifestation. You can see that the affinity is in his um, 
crown chakra there, which is grace, beauty, oneness, serenity, enlightenment. But the, the, the fact that your connection to the divine, okay, as the divine, you know, helps you manipulate, uh, not manipulate, but manifest the, the, the universe into your favor. Because see how he's got the, the vibrations uh, on his fingers here with the vibing bowl, you know, clearing those energies. And, and see how the manifestation that he's, he's using his hand to manifest um, shows the, how he's using the energies in, in himself and the positive energies that he produces as we, you know, the best manifestations come from positive positivity, you know, and that we are what we think as well. You know, if you're thinking great things, you'll manifest beautiful things. You can't, I keep coming back to that um, ship on the horizon, you know, and then what you're manifesting in theory is you've got your eyes closed because he's got his head down. You can't see her head. Okay, and his eyes are closed, which shows thinking, working, introspection, um, not even seeing it coming as well. You know, I did get that before with, uh, with being stabbed in the back. Maybe you didn't see it coming, your head was down, you were just concentrating on something else in life. Um, but the magician is, um, you know, working with the elements, you know, because in the original Rider deck of 1910, that's a, that's a magician standing there with all four elements, you know, the swords, the cups, the wands, and the pentacles all in, all in front of him. So he's got the, the ambition of all parts of the universe from you know earth water fire and 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 all that sort of stuff but then he's also got the ambition of northwest and south and and east and you know in any direction as he can manifest that's for sure and he's very high vibing see how they're sitting in that position there which show the um he's he's technically sitting up and he's enlightened enough that he's sitting up as he manifests and he's sitting in the same position so you you're comfortable where you are you know you don't need to move you don't need to worry at the present moment in your life you know, he's very resourceful. He's inspired. Kings are in, 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 they lead by action, but this is one who is inspired action, you know. Um, we're going to look at the next card here. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so we know that the kings are the, the court cards. They represent personal archetypes. You know, they may represent ascended elements of your personality. Just give me a second. We're just going to sit, take a sip on my coffee. Oh, beautiful, beautiful cup of coffee. What I want to show you, right? So, whether you're manifesting this person into your life, okay, or whether you're manifesting the equal balance of masculine and feminine in your mind, because we got the lemon skate above there, all right? Because these situations, right, they lead us to, yeah, see how releasing, having that self realization and understanding of the underlying energies here and the spiritual awakening and, and knowing your heart and your motives to be true to the underlying energy and answering the call for your soul. Like she's releasing, you know, whatever situation in the judgment in itself. And the, that the reason I say that it, it, it might not be a person coming into your life and it's more along the lines of you becoming the yin and yang master of, and control and authority of your of yourself in your own mind is because of the olive branches that she extends from her temples there which shows that she has the the grace the 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 she's very down to earth but the grace in order to vibe high manifest at the same time as have those opportunities to extend the olive branches you know and get over this situation here it's not a matter of getting over it because she's obviously that's the ultimate in betrayal there of the ten of swords there but yeah having having that ability because her eyes are closed again as well so it's introspection somebody who can think you know the queen of pentacles as she sits in that beautiful seat elegant seat very elegant very poised very beautiful we've got the the crown shaku which shows grace and beauty and oneness and serenity and enlightenment but she is the epitome of that. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is a healer. It's a working parent, basically. Um, somebody self-made. Somebody who, who has the ability of material wealth and abundance and somebody who is comfortable in themselves to know that they have all their ducks in a row, basically, and have that balance of, uh, you know, the beautiful harmonious balances of, of opposites of the yin and yang, which, you know, blend together to create and complete yourself, you know. Everybody talks about that movie um, where you, know, you complete me, whatever it is, Jerry Maguire, but you shouldn't need somebody in your life to complete you. You should be just uh, complete yourself. And, 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 and that in itself shows that you have boundaries and, and, and that you can extend an olive branch and that you are beautiful and you are high vibing and you are amazing and you've learned the skills on, in life and you trust the universe and that faith in God and the divine and you've leveled up in your ascensions and your upgrades and you have that new energy and that abundance of fulfillment within yourself. 
you know, and you can release that to the universe and, and know that, see, she's smiling in this card, she's smiling in this card, smiling in this card. You can't see because that's just, when you've got to walk away from these situations, it, you just got to do what you got to do. You got to manifest, look down, put your, put your head up and just get, get it done, you know, and the Queen of Pentacles is, is strength in family and strength in community. And like I was saying, a kind, nurturing heart that you are, well, this is kind of nurturing heart too. You know, somebody very generous and somebody very lovely and somebody very beautiful you know pentacles deal with the material aspects of life like money work environment the physical health but they represent long-term future career luxury sensuality security business and finances as well but one thing that she she shows me is how beautiful and elegant and, and poised you are to come through this situation and be the strong person and manifest at a time when you can't even see your ships coming in but still being that beautiful person and, and still putting your best foot forward to show the universe and, and the divine God and, and, and even yourself that, that you are able to extend an olive branch even in these situations in life and have that elegance and, and do it gracefully, you know? Next card. Yeah, it hasn't been an easy time for you, right? And that's the truth. We've got the Knight of, Knight of, Knight of, Knight of, Pentacles here and the Knight of Pentacles represents hard work and diligence, okay, but it's also somebody who puts their determination together and, and builds that material safety and security net and ha being very pragmatic. It's a well, it's a slow moving energy if that makes sense, but it's more the diligence and more hard work and focusing on that um, expansion and having that steadfastness and being able to put through. Knights are erratic, yeah, they're energetic, they're erratic, they're ambition, they're active. But you've can maintained activeness to be active through a hard time in your life in order to manifest still out of a positive, beautiful heart and a positive, beautiful mindset. We've got the king of love and the queen of queen of just beautifulness. Like I don't even know how to explain it. The queen of material wealth and abundance. She's so kind and nurturing and, and down to down to earth that she's able to manifest from any position in life and, and have that that slow moving methodical process you see as sowing the land and, and and dropping all the fertilizer on the land is sowing you know you sow what you're reaping basically like in life and having that beautiful horse walking behind you but the knight of pentacles is, is that hard work and diligence that's been put in because i've got to take this card here is the way the, re the 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 energy starts you know and and you know the having having that fear you know having that fear of facing those fears because this is what this is is face she's facing the fears and she probably didn't even see this coming. Like I keep seeing that the boat's coming in, the ship's coming in, but and he's not focused on that in that sort of with the ship's coming in. But she can't see what's going on. She never, you never seen the person sneak up and stab you in the back. That's for sure. And the trickery of the perceptions, because that's what the the night is the illusion, the hidden truth, you know. And that's the underlying energies of this. You've had to be hard working, the diligent. And, and face the fears and have even even through perceptions and mysteries where you couldn't even you weren't even able to see your path clearly because you can see it's walking on that path but the underlying energies is the moon and that highlights the stuff we can't see and that subtle illumination of the unconscious mind i wanted to say a little bit about the knights okay the knights of the knight of uh, wands is charismatic energy and is on the pursuit of adventure and fearlessness you know the knight of swords is is that that haste and streamlined decision who's on their pursuit of excellence you know as opposed to the pursuit of um adventure you know and then the cups well he's on the pursuit of love he's a knight in shining armor you know and that classic romantic yeah with the knight of pentacles that's extreme hard work and determination and being in the face of diversity and, and being able to stand up and focus you know and, and and being that pragmatic approach and 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 i keep coming back to her beautiful extensions that she, um her olive branches that she's extending and it's hard in these situations where people have wronged you to be able to step forward and do and extend those olive branches when when all, all hell's going on all, 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 on all around you and still being able to put your best foot forward and to be determined yeah it made you like it made you such beautiful and that's a messenger so pages of swords which is coming out here now is a messenger but see the beautiful doves that are floating around our thoughts our beautiful thoughts that are going around see the light bulb the enlightenment you know the light you know she's lit up and she's enlightened in theory 
the book shows, you know, that you're, you're learning in life, you know, and that you're, you know, this, this card here is a card of like a student apprentice, um, but it's learning new things and having that intellectual pursuit and that ideas and reasoning and that curiosity around that restless energy, you know, and the things that you've learned throughout your life in order to create this hard work and diligence and get through these situations by yourself. And you can see that she's balancing on her tippy toes on the thing, but she's about to step onto solid ground here. You know, and she's she's working hard because this is hard work and working hard. You're working hard at learning the lessons in life. You're working hard at something in your life that's enlightening some sort of situation because light bulb moments, um, they give us that highly attuned in extremely intuitive attitude and that empathy and leading with that heart and having that strength because this is a queen, this queen, the underlying energy is here is the queen of strength. She's got her hands up as she surrenders to the divine and this one, the hands up with that enlightenment, you know, the light bulb there, cling, you know, that clarity in itself. But, but it's, it's just swords are like, um, they rule over intelligence, logic and truth, ambition, conflict, communication, you know, they're the power of the mind, you know, the sword is double edged. It can be used to help and to harm, you know, and, and in this case, to get through these situations, like I've said, and, and there's still be hard working to, and determined to learn and, and build yourself up and be enlightened. Yeah. The Hierophant underlined energies as I've just shuffled the deck is enlightenment, you know, as he's got all the, the steps that he takes in order for the process to get to that tree of knowledge and that, that source energy and have that beautiful enlightenment within yourself, because we got the light bulbs up here, which is, you've learned so many things and we've got the beautiful doves like the doves in themselves. Like, what is that? That's purity and gentleness and, and devotion and hope and, and, and love and communication and peace, you know, and we've got the peace of extending that olive branch there and the sacrifice that's been made. What a, what a beautiful person, whoever you are, you're a beautiful person. Look how beautiful this reading is as it comes across. We've still got another line to go through you. Look at that. You're kidding. The hangman, right? The hangman surrendering to the will of the cosmos. See, as I was saying, the underlining, the hands up with the underlying energy of the queen in this, this card here. And then to give you that, 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 that enlightenment in theory, this card here is a card of wisdom and found and new, new wisdom and spiritual teaching, sacrifice, enlightenment. You see the light shining on her. This is a card in theory, all right, of surrendering to the will of the cosmos. It's an intentional pause. It can be reflection. It can be letting go. See how she's letting go. She trusts the divine with that, that wisdom. See the runes um, there, the runes. See the runes, yeah, the runes in the water there, which is ancient wisdom and trusting the divine and surrendering to the will of that cosmos and having that reflection because that's what she's learning here is learning and embracing the new and, and learning those lessons and realigning your heart and purpose to what you're supposed to be in and having that sacrifice, you know, and that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful letting go in, in order to learn your lessons and let go of whatever broke you in theory and broke your heart. You know, because we've got the underlying energies of somebody very romantic. It was a very loving situation. Maybe that broke your heart because we got, you're very beautiful. Maybe you were so, maybe you were so beautiful that you kept ex extending the olive branches and you are the king of love in theory. King, queen, doesn't matter. All right. That's just the masculine and feminine of the balance of those minds. Remember I said the balancing of those minds, you know, and you were always extending that olive branch in that relationship. And you put the hard work and determination until you had the enlightenment and released it in theory, because look at the underlying energies of this hangman. That's a beautiful, chivalrous, amazingly beautiful. You are so giving. It's not funny. And that look at the purity of that white horse, the purity, purity of those thoughts. One more card, please. And we'll go and we'll take it to the bottom underneath that ten of swords and have a little bit more clarity around that sort of stuff. Yeah, look, Karma Waters, look, look, releasing here in order to go to Karma Waters. See, like I said here in the page of swords, she's about to step onto a solid foundation. Well, that's what she's doing. That's what the soul is doing in this card here, right? They've got the bags packed, you know, and the thoughts are pulling you in the right direction. There's other thoughts that are clinging around in the back of the mind. You do have the purity of those thoughts, as you can see that there. But by releasing the hangman there, releasing the card before it gives you this six of swords, which is, is, is help arriving at the right time, right to passion, but it's moving beyond those traumas and moving beyond those shadows of the past in order to give you the personal evolution and, and have that spiritual train, um, change, you know, in yourself, you know, sixes in themselves, their harmony and cooperation and giving and receiving, you know, sixes in numerology, um, 
not tarot, but numerology, a love and healing and relationships and family and home. You can see she's about to come to the shore. So whatever it is you've left behind and you're going to calmer waters, you've received a light bulb and clarity around this situation. You've worked hard at it because we started off here with this ten of, ten of swords and that's the ultimate in betrayals. But can you see how beautiful the, the, the soul is, whoever this resonates with, um, in order to... Um, you know, leave it all behind and those thoughts there that are lingering in your mind and be pulled by the divine in order to get to the, because that's what this is, surrendering to the will of the cosmos and surrendering to the will of the divine and letting go and letting go and moving on, sorry, on this side, letting go and moving on and, and having that beautiful, you know, it's not easy, it's not easy to let go of these things and move on, especially when there's cups of emotions that are, you know, they're hard to let go of and, 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 and release and like I said, you know, chivalrous, beautiful soul. You know, um, we're going to go under this Ten of Swords now and have a look and a little bit more clarity. But it's a continuation on the Six of Swords here, right? But we're going to we're going to go off. I don't want it to go up here. You, you know, I want it to come under here. Now, what happens is I bring it over here, so it's a continuation of the Six of Swords. But it also gives us a little bit more clarity of what's going on with the the above energies up here and 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 knowing how it how it, how it literally came around and how it came about yeah so we may end up with a bit of a different card here as we're going under the because we've got to balance several energies now but we can do it we're definitely going to calmer waters and calmer waters is just the ha harmony and positivity and happiness in your life and, and knowing that you know that these cycles are over and that you know more repeating cycles and and you've learned your lesson and and in that, not in a bad way, in a good way, you know, because, you know, what releasing those grips of addiction, if that was there, or the needs of liberation and, and having those new perspectives and that new awareness can lead you to, you know, lead you to, to karma waters in theory. And that's what that is. It's releasing and going to karma waters. The next card is this one. Yeah, you're, look at that. You're kidding me. Once you get off this boat and onto the land, it gives you the queen of wands energy, yeah? That equilibrium and that, you know, that, that, centering yourself that equilibrium you know she's a beautiful queen there by the way as she sits there and she holds the light in her hand and the passion in the other hand of that wand as wands are passion and inspiration spirituality and willpower you know uh, but she's the queen of wands okay you, you what a beautiful beautiful card to have right creativity passion determination so you've got determination up here and we've got the passion and determination the joy the bold expression the she's a social butterfly you can see that butterfly in the in the energy that comes around with me a beautiful crystal all right you can see the butterfly there as that light in her hand lightens the way it's the black cat in front of her um a lot of people think that black cats are bad omens um the negativity and stuff like that and and they're bad luck. One way, a black cat is beautiful luck. Um, a black cat used to be, um, they used to put them on um, pirate ships, you know, in the pirate movies, you see black cats running around the ships. Well, that's a good omen in theory. Usually um, the cat brings them through the safety of bringing them home safe uh, on that ship, you know. And um, here's an old wives tale that used to come from the days is um, fishermen's wives uh, used to have black cats because it was a good omen to bring their husbands home safe at night and not have, you know, <laughs> That, that um the swells of those oceans that, that's a bad it's a bad bad thing out there you know and, and it's a very unsafe job and that's that was just a fun fact there but you can see that the soul here in this card is sitting there surrounded by the light you may be very very close to the divine um very very spiritual and very very loving as she's surrounded by the light very passionate very she's spontaneous as as anything but she's a social butterfly and she's outgoing and she's open and then we've got the queen up here which is um, very generous and down to earth and then we got the king of love there you know uh, queen of wands oh wow yeah look at that wow beautiful right this this card here right is it shows like yeah, how wise you are for starters. How wise you are for starters. But the Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful card to have, okay? It's personal achievement, okay? It's inner, inner peace, like, but it's milestones being met and celebrated, but within yourself. You are self-made, because this is a self-made person up here, right? In the Queen of uh, Pentacles here. And the Nine of Pentacles is personal achievement, but within yourself. You are content within yourself. You have received uh, spiritual, uh, uh, maybe material satisfaction, but in yourself. That is a person who is 
like I was saying before, like having, having like the, you know, like complete yourself, you know what I mean? Not needing anybody to come along and complete you. Not everybody wants love. Some people just want to be happy and content and passionate and positive within themselves, knowing that through their life that they've lived, that they don't want that sort of stuff at this present moment. They just want to find their inner peace and have that because she's pre empress energy. She's, she's happy and content in who she is and she's beautiful in her heart and, and, and she's had those milestones being met and celebrate and she celebrates herself as the nine of pentacles there. You know, and she's reaching up. She's looking up directly at the manifesting abilities that she has. And what's above her is the love, the unconditional love and the king of that love and having that love in yourself. Both these two cards, even though one's pentacles, one's wands, they're both passionate, very happy, very spot, very beautiful. You go to Karma Waters, look what it's waiting for you as you get through it, yeah? And release and, and, and allow the divine to give you the things that you want in life, you know, when you know what you want and, and, and you, you're wise and logical and you extend the olive branches and, re, you know, repent your sins and have those beautiful things in, in your life and, and, and step off on the right foot, you know, being with spiritual spirit and, and being divinely led by the divine God. You know, you're able to have these beautiful times in your life and, and, and manifest them. And, and the thing is, when they manifest, because you've come through the lessons and learned all the lessons in life, because you've definitely learned lessons here for sure, and you've definitely been hard work considering we start with this card up here, um, it, it just shows that you'll appreciate them. And when they manifest in you, it's because it's like, wow, I can't believe I'm, I'm, I'm that beautiful as a human being. And, and, you know, having those affirmations to tell yourself along the day, you know, you must remember how powerful and incredible you are. And they, how you, you, you possess what anything you want to achieve in whatever you want to desire in life is, is at your fingertips, basically, because that's what that card means. You know, you give, your, you give yourself permission to have whatever you want. You know, you're not, you're not pushed by your problems. You're led by your dreams. You know, you feed your spirit and you, know, you feed your spirit in, 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 and you train your body and you have beautiful things that come in just, just, well, there's, there you go. There's confirmation in the background, but beautiful things that just come in just for you and, 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 and you alone, you know, sometimes we are on a journey in ourselves just to, cause that's what this card here, the 10 of swords allows you to learn from those mistakes and have that interconnectedness with the divine and, and open up that third eye and illuminate, you know, the creativity and the motivation and the ability, this, this card here, the underlying energies of this card here is the ability to manifest anything. Yeah. And having that equilibrium and balance within yourself. And, and, and that's so important in life. Yeah. You have got a hundred years to live on the planet. If you respect your body and you know, what are you doing with your hundred? You know, be a beautiful person. You know, positivity is so more, so much more better than being negative and, and, you know, being happy and lovely is so much more better than being mean. And I'll take that card there, which is, which is, um, you know, and having those, that beautiful life and that equal balance, you know, heaven on earth in theory and, and being able to step forward and planting those seeds for your future. See as she's planted the seeds and they've all come to fruition now and it's time to go back through. See the nine of pentacles and then at least the nine of pentacles, how, how, how he's going back through and seeding all the lessons that he's learned and he goes back through and, and replants all the seeds again so he can get back to the nine of pentacles and, and have the fruition of, of everything there. You know. By the way, so so I want to show you something. So yeah, he's planting the seeds here in this card of the Knight of Pentacles, but then we'll lead to the Queen of Pentacles. And look, she's sitting in a foundation with all those trees all grown in the background there because there's the trees there that have been planted because the Ace of Pentacles is a big pentacle with the tiniest little germinated seed on the top of it. You know, and then you plant the seed in the solid foundation. So as we get through all the lessons to the seven of pentacles, where it's the, all the pentacles are in the roots in the solid foundation, then the eight of pentacles is the craftsman's skills and they're learning the craft. And then the nine of pentacles is the buds have come to fruition now and there it's time to harvest in theory. And then the 10 of pentacles with, is the complete and utter dynasty and legacy of love and wealth and comfortable life. You know, and learning all that spiritual and material abundance. And then you get through to the page of Pentacles, which is taking the new beginnings and, and running with it of all the lessons you've learned and being happy and positive and well balanced. And then the night is basically sowing the land and fertilizing everything you've learned. And, and, and the queen, how she sits in that beautiful thing there and, and allowing yourself to... Um, uh, come to come to fruition and allowing the plant the seeds that you've planted in in the past to become to fruition and have that great potential for success and the manifesting powers that are, are around it 
All right, sorry. We get to the two of wands which come out in between of all that, me discussing. I just love the Nine of Pentacles. Um, it's, it's just in, in and, you know, being on a trajectory of life of being enlightened myself. I just, I love the, the, the learning and the, the capacity of learning. And, and that's definitely a person who's learned and had those milestones met. And you're definitely that person, that's for sure, because you can see how the, the cards read. They're bad cards in this deck. And we've even started on the bad card here. And then you can see how it's just come straight back out with the most beautiful planning, which this card is that we're about to discuss, is, is planning your future and making that progress and having that activation of possibilities within yourself. And look what's come back out again on the underlying energies is, is a chivalry love. And this is wearing your heart on your sleeve as well. And But being in, 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 in love with the idea of love, this is chivalry love whether that's yourself or you're waiting on that love or that love's come in. Everybody's on. See, this is where you start, but this is where you could be. You could have already gone through this and you'd be at waiting now, planning the future, you know, and, and having those, um, you, you know, planning your future and making that progress, uh, progress and having that possibilities and the choice between your comfort zone and a new adventure, you know, but the exploration, yeah, moving ahead as she sits in a window. See, as she's sitting here in this card in a, in a, in, with a divine, you know, ancestral dots there, which show the, you know, the knowledge of the sacred tree in theory, uh, the Akashic records, anything beautiful and divine. And see the window there is surrounded by those same ancestral dots. So she's trying to peek in and see and plan because she's got the world in front of her. You know, the three of wands is a person who steps off in the right direction with everything on the horizon with a surfboard. But you can see she sits at this window with a picture in front of her with a surfboard and, and making that dream progress come through. The, and and what's, what's above her is, is the one and the two. See the one and the magician and the two, which is the progress of life, yeah? And we can see as she's reaching up for that love and that unconditional love, but in herself, as this one's sitting here and planning above and manifesting anything that's possible, anything that's possible in our world and having that beautiful balance within herself and, and, and having that new adventure and exploring life for what it is, you know? You've got, like I said before, you've got 100 years. Let's go to the next card. Yeah. <laughs> Ten of cups, baby. Ten of cups. Yeah, look what she's looking at. Look what she's planning. Look what she's dreaming. It's this Ten of Cups and it's in the horizon. It's on the horizon as she's going through. Like I keep saying, coming back to this old olive branch, you know, Devon will give you what you want. You just gotta be ready to receive it for one. And you got to be in a mind, mind space that's happy and positive in order to release those fears again. Yeah, so release the fear. And, and trust your intuition and trust in the divine and have that perception, you know, subtle illumination and having that, you know. The Ten of Cups, beautiful card to have, all right? Community, love, soulmates, harmony in life, harmony in relationships, harmony in family, you know, harmony in all connections and having those divine connections where you can walk, work, work on them. You know, you can see there's two people sitting there. You could say that's two partners and gender specific doesn't really matter. Um, you could say that's two females sitting there. You could say that's two, it's a man and a female. Either way, long hair, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, that doesn't matter in any way whatsoever. You know, the, the divine God just wants you to be happy. You've got a hundred years. Be happy and joyful and love and positivity. And that's what this card symbolizes is having that heart opening and expansion and that wholeness, that true fulfillment of, of what the what divine has for you in store as we go through and plan these procedures in life. You know, and having that peace and that fulfillment in yourself in order to know that you're a beautiful person and you deserve that. You've definitely come through a situation here because we started off here and you've put in the work. See, you can put in the work and the divine will give you what you want in life. How do you know what it is? But you've got to put in the work in, in, in yourself. You know, God can't help anybody unless they're willing to help themselves. And that's, that's for sure. And go through and put the hard work in and learn the lessons. You know, release that fear and that guilt and release and those shackles and, and go to karma waters in yourself and have that passion and find that inspiration in yourself to plan these things and know that it's possible to have. Leads us to this next card. Oh, you're kidding. Look, right? We've got family, got harmony in family and, and having that, 
that relationship and family and love in yourself and, and kinship and everything like that. And then it's also led to this, these two cards come in hand and go hand in hand, which this is creating memories. As you can see, it's growing old, whether that's the little boy here is thinking about his future or whether that's a person reminiscing about their past. But this is a card of nostalgia, but it's also a card of creating those memories. You know, and working hard at this beautiful relationship that's about to come in or, or, or whatever it is for you. Everybody's different. Use discernment. But having this, even the friendship and creating those memories in a friendship and having that person that's there for you at whatever time you need them to be there and having that kinship or that family member or, or the whole family to rely on at times where you don't have anybody um, other than the people you can trust, you know? And, 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 and see how we got the beautiful colors up here in those pentacles as he sells the land. But this is a card of inner child as well. This um, six of cups, you know, cups of love. But this is a card of reconnecting from the past. It can be harmony and themes of your life and going through those themes of your life and, and having that harmony in yourself and having that reminiscence and old flames and but it's this can be a reminder of how far you've come like you've worked hard and this can be a, a reminder of how far you've come you know from this situation up here which you know you've got the clarities and, and the light bulb moments and all, and all these planning procedures that lead you to these beautiful positions like i said before right We've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, which leads you through to the Dynasty Love. The Page of Pentacles is learning all those lessons now and going into the archetype of the, you know, these can resemble ascended elements of your personality. But this is a collective read, yeah? So anything's possible in theory. But the Page of Pentacles is, is a new beginning, all right? But it's manifesting those new beginnings and manifesting those new opportunities as she sits here planning. You know, and this is this is good news. This is ambitions and skills because the step, step up from the Page of Pentacles is the Knight of Pentacles, and you can see see all the all the plant, plants in the background. See the flowers in the background, the plants. Well, that's him fertilizing the land. This is him taking all the her, her him doesn't really matter. There's no there's no gender in tarot, not in the collective read. That's for sure. Um, and she's well balanced as she stands in that pentacle, holding on to that beautiful pentacle, very, very oiz, very poised, very elegant, very amazing. Learn with all the lessons as you've gone through. This can be a card, a card of financial opportunities and new career paths and new conditions, uh, new connections as well. It can be a beginner, so somebody skilled and somebody, somebody learning new things in life as well, and and having those those skills because we've got two pages in a row here and pages are explorative and they're playful and they're curious they're seekers in the child and they're student in theory but they they, they learn and that's that what it, what do children do because we've got the, the child in this this was it and children are sponges in theory they learn as they go they learn at a rapid rapid pace in life and a rapid you know like sponge they absorb everything in in, in a land because they're going to learn so quick and on the go in order to speak, walk, talk, act, everything, you know, and, and that's what we leads us to. And we've got the Queen of Cups here that's just come out again. Now, it's not that it came out again, it's just, it was the underlying energies of one of these cards up here. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was the Page of Swords, okay? So now we've come past this page, and now the Queen of Swords is coming out. See how she's the, bi the high vibing bowls there, and re with the hands up, releasing. See, see the swishing and the, the, the whooshing, and like, you know, the breath of the vital breath of the divine, in, which is air in theory. But you can see the beautiful cup of emotion that she's at her crown, is her crown, is her love, and how beautiful she is, you know, and the emotional relationships and connections that she creates this is the queen of extremely intuitive this is the queen of highly attuned and emotionally intelligent she's the queen of love and compassion she's very sensitive she's very strong she's empathetic she's empathetic to your need she leads with her heart she's healing you know and and to come through all these situations and have that new beginning and that's going to heal you and show you the beautiful things that can happen when you trust and let go and let let go of the divine look yeah, progress. Like I said before, two of two of wands here, the surfboard, the three of wands, she's stepping off in the, in the right direction. And the underlining a action of this Queen of Cups is stepping off in the right direction. And what's on the horizon? She's coming to the beach here, by the way, in the card that's above her. So there's the beach. What's waiting at the beach? You know, and in the cards that are above this and the underlying energy of this card, which is technically the underlying energies, is this what's on the horizon, you know, and understanding that your ambitions and your positive changes are in the right direction and the opportunities are coming, you know, and that's and, and manifesting that energy and having this beautiful 
beautiful trajectory of life and, and knowing that you're worthy of having these new beginnings, look at the cards as they come out planning, planning the new family and then the, the memories that are around that family and having that new beginning and, and, and of all the lessons you've learned because you've come for this situation up here and then being able to express it and, and embrace it because she's embracing that as well. You know, and she's strong, you're strong and having that beautiful energy and having that beautiful uh, way that it's literally supposed to go in life for yourself. We only got one more card to do and then that's the reading over. But what a beautiful reading to have. All right, we're gonna, we'll go through two more, all right? You can see that they're very well shuffled, okay? So we've got the above energies are, are the, are the going to come waters. And it's the last card and it's also the extension from the Queen of Cups here, which leads us into the, the final completion of the reading. All right, this one over there, that over there. This one here. Beautiful. It's justice for you. It's justice, right? To start with this Ten of Swords and end on justice, this is your justice. Your justice is to learn the lesson. Your justice is to go to Karma Waters and find who you are and have the boundaries in yourself and, and plan that future. And this time, make sure that the plan that you're coming into fruition, you've learned the lessons in order to embrace it and have that balance because this is Libra energy, you know, and Libra is... You know, the Libra energy is idealistic and diplomic, uh, diplomacy and charming and optimistic, you know? We got the sword again, which she's got it halfway out. She could use it to cut, to kill. She could use it to heal, to harm. She could use it for safety and protection, you know, and have that two-facedness, well, not the two-facedness, but have that. So I got a feeling somebody may not like the fact that you're getting this beautiful justice because look how beautiful the reading is. And for it to start on the Ten of Swords and then end on the justice, the justice is coming in. The justice is you getting this situation and moving on. If somebody's disrespected you and stabbed you in the back completely and you are a beautifully kind, unconditionally loving soul, of course you're going to manifest this beautiful stuff, especially if you send the olive branch all the way through that relationship or through that situation and have put in the hard work and diligence in order to get to a situation and go, light bulb, I've got to release it and go to calmer waters, find myself and then replan, re-evaluate everything in order to get through and have this justice. And this is balancing balance and karma and truth and wisdom. Fairness, the fairness of cause and effect. This is integrity. It's pers 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 perspective, if that makes sense. But you're an ethical, beautiful, moral person. And I can see that just in the reading. There are cards in these decks, right? That they're horrible. <laughs> it's not that they're horrible, but they show deceptions, betrayals, copycats, con artists, past the seats, trickeries, theft. You know, um, trapped and jailed and, and, and nightmares and worries and depressions and fighting and bullying and harassment and grieving and sadness and disappointments. And they're in there. They're in there. They're not out here on this deck. The, the worst card we've got, besides the things that have happened in the past that you've moved on for, because she's healed in that because they're scars, is this one here. And this is not even a bad card. It just means that you're going to Karma Waters you, with yourself at least. You've extended that olive branch. All right, what a beautiful reading. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. Just remember how amazing you are and how beautiful of a person you are and that these are just, they're, they're representation. These are predictions, but they're representation of the le lessons and overarching themes in your life and on your journey. They're the trials and tribulations and the things that we learn from. You know, the, you're a beautiful person. Just remember that. You know, and use those obstacles to motivate you and grow. You know, you're not defined by your past. You are led and driven by the future. You are an independent and self-sufficient, beautiful person. And you are grateful for everything you have in your life. You finish what matters and you let go of what doesn't. And you are freeing yourself from all the destructive doubt and fear and that toxic devil that plays on the minds. You know. Have a lovely, beautiful, and amazing day. May your blessings be as beautiful as your lovely, beautiful heart. Bye.